What is up, Humanoid Nation? So today's video I'm reacting to is by Parts Unknown by Adam Blomfeed. He's doing the 25 worst wrestling catchphrases ever. I hope to see yes and what on there. Don't get me wrong, what was cool at first, but then it got annoying real quick. Yes, got annoying after the second time. You heard it. And now it's everywhere with everyone saying, yes, yes, yes. It's just horrible. I love Daniel, I love Brian Danielson, but the yes chant is just awful. Oh, and rocks boot to asses. Ugh. All right, enough stalling. Let's do this. If you smell, give me a hell yeah. It's true, it's damn true. Yes, excuse me, can you dig it, sucker? Suck it, rest in peace. Ooh, yeah, let me tell you something, brother. Jam that jam, and that's the bottom line and almost everything that Chris Jericho's ever said. Even in today's more serious wrestling with more serious boys and their more serious pants, catchphrases are a big deal for wrestling because catchphrases means merch. We're gonna eat your lunch. Who the hell said that? You're being thrown into the big machine that keeps Vince alive. We all have our favorite wrestling catchphrases, but that's not as fun as talking about the worst and oh boy there's a oh, bunch bring of those it. let's Here hear it 25 worst let's wrestling boots to asses phrases. boots to asses 25 lince dorado of all the members of lucha house party lince dorado is the when does lince talk when he stops saying things are lucha lit it sounds like a supply teacher leading an assembly on mexican history we get it wwe writers you know what a phone is but you might as well just have lince say flame emoji and it'll be just as cool 24, Diamond Dallas Page. Back in his WCW days, DDP would encourage his opponents to quote, feel the bang. At best, he sounds like the world's lamest fireworks technician. Feel the worst, bang was it's a good, work. man. Number 23, I love that the shit. Miz. I actually like I'm the Miz and I'm awesome. It's very the big man sat in the red chair in terms of pros, sure, but it's something an asshole would say. However, there's no excusing, really. It's not the really and baffling. Really, he doesn't use it as much as often now, but I like it. know how to deal with it. Are they supposed to say really? as well or are they just supposed to boo so it always gets this really weird, muted reaction number 22 Dolph Ziggler Dolph had two absolute howlers in his career which There's one which phrase where he used to say show and then pause for six minutes before saying off which oh is yeah and never forget his catchphrase when he first appeared in WWE oh hi I'm Dolph Ziggler saying, hi I'm Dolph Ziggler when your catchphrase is yep. just saying I've got a stupid name that's, that's not exactly money. bad one Ryback, the big guys had feed me more mentally oh, yes. phrases as well. Weird considering he's also had one of the most over catchphrases of the decade and feed me more. I didn't Yet like it. WWE run, Ryback ditched his popular saying and tried to replace it with Ryback rules, which is less good huh? and almost as bad as his first catchphrase when he was skipped oh, Sheffield. Oh the iconically bad farm wisdom of quote, yip, 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 what it do. What? I forgot about that. Yip, 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 how it do. I blocked it out of my memory. <laughs> Good thing I blocked it out of my memory. Oh my god. It do not. Number 20, Taz. Oh man. Taz, the man who my said balls. Those, well, here comes the pain. And even better, beat me if you can, survive if I let you. Sink as low as, let the pigeons loose. Which he used to say in TNA whenever Velvet Sky would enter the ring and rub Yeah, that's, on the yeah. Ropes. The no comment, loose. no comment. Christ. Number 19, Chris Jericho. They can't all be gold. The man who brought us never, ever again. Raw is Jericho. You just made the list. And it has had a catchphrase that even he admits is the worst he ever came You're up with. You're talking about the one from when you did an invasion? 15 catchphrase designed to make fun of the new day. Rooty, tooty, booty. Watching mm. Jericho try to get that chant going was downright painful. Number 18. They can't Brie all Bella. be winners. Oh, Brie, Brie Bella. This sound bad. Mm. Even if Brie wasn't already a famous cheese. On Total Divas, it was revealed. I'm sorry. Don't cannot stand the Bella twins. Brie is all right. It's Nikki Bella that I have a problem with, but uh. Brie mode is what happens when Brie Bella gets blackout drunk. So of course that makes it the perfect wrestling catchphrase. To be fair, it would be hilarious if she shouted Brie mode and then immediately threw up and fell over. But alas, not. Number 17, Becky Lynch. God, I missed a man, but it's no coincidence that once Becky got over huge with the crowd, she no longer used her straight fire in ring catchphrase. I part don't remember part any part of that. Cool mom. Has a wrestler using internet slang ever gotten over? Just ask don't remember any of that. About that. 
Number 16, John Morrison. It's not really a Johnny game. Drip Drip. To try and flog Jomo merch off the back of it, so I'm counting it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jomo Sapiens t shirt, <sighs> replete with the astonishingly bad tagline, We're gonna <sighs> eat your lunch. Come on, John Morrison. <laughs> Confusing your opponent into giggles is the best kind of threat. Number 15, John Laurinaitis. Now, you might think I'm gonna say people. <sighs> not Johnny Boy. Anyone but Johnny Boy. Uh. Uh, power here, but you know what? That catchphrase was just the right amount of lame for a character that was supposed to be lame. See also The Miz. Now I'm talking about his failed attempt at a catchphrase during his days as Johnny Ace, which was the incredible bad, if you don't got it, get it, and if you don't get it, pause, figure it out. Standing ovation. Number 14, John Cena. Fail. I get the feeling that if I don't put you can't see me on this list that fans will riot. Like, it's over, though. It's still very over, and it's made the IWC a better place for all the memes it launched, but it's also acutely stupid, because you can see it. Number 13, The That's James it? Gang. Okay. The New Age Outlaws run in TNA. I thought you would say something else. The James Gang and the Voodoo Kin Mafia had some memorable moments, but most I can't think of any right now, but trying to really it's pretty good ones. Glory days. Case in point, when they tried to get over a fresh twist on Suck It, which went, we got three words for you. Get it, got it, good. Which is A, terrible, and Very B, terrible. five words. Number 12, Just Joe. What was this gimmick? Just Joe was a character. He was a snitch, is what he was. In WWE. He snitched on everyone. It's Wasn't that his character? Going up to wrestlers hey, I got some news for you. I'm Just Joe. Phrase, which was someone asking him his name and him saying, Just Joe, and then tell them some gossip he heard. That was the whole thing. Like, that was it. God, it's somehow worse than, Hi, I'm Dolph Ziggler. Number 11, nah. Jordan Walker. Oh, oh knock stress. knock! America's most wanted were really mm. great. One of TNA's best ever tag teams. But when Chris I'm gonna knock your goddamn brains w out. Was rechristened Braden Walker. He had infamously one of the worst character introductions ever. Stepping to Armando Estrada, saying "knock knock," he responded, "Who's there?" And then he responded, "Braden Walker, and I'm here to knock your brains out." Poor Chris Harris. Uh, ten. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is um, D guy? things on camera. You know the I'm not a bad guy. His catchphrases were actually all right. Believe that, and I can, I will, would have been fine enough if said by someone you know who was over. But not even The Rock could have sold. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not the a good, good guy. guy. Um, I'm D guy. Hey, I long. found it good. Really I liked it. I had no problem with it. Swagger. And it leans into the thing that people hated most about Roman at the time, which is the fact that he was the guy. Number nine, Curtis Axel. Oh man, Somehow I don't remember Genesis anything he ever said. Is not the worst thing that what was his catch? Was what camera. was his catchphrase? That would go to the almost anti catchphrase of the chains are off. That's bad. But somehow, yeah. worse, him saying the axe man cometh, followed by him chopping with his hand and screaming, yee! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> cast at the time, so yes, it was supposed to be terrible. <sighs> I get it's supposed to be terrible, but come on! But also, it was terrible. Number eight, The Rock. Yes, as boot your asses. The Rock has had some terrible catchphrases in the past. The less said about Cookie Puss, the better. But the Nadir was a quickly forgotten attempt to get "How's your lips over?" During I... The Rock's return to WWE in late 2003, to part. Pause. Ah. Uh. How did I, I don't remember any of when was this? I don't remember this catchphrase. How is your lips? Did I block it out? Did I must have blocked it out because of how shit it was. This is worse than boots to asses. Not with Mick Foley. He wore a shirt to the ring with how's your lips written on it. The point being that if you kept running your mouth, your lips would be slapped off your face. Awful. Number seven, <laughs> the Red Rooster. He used to throw like a rooster. He thinks it's combat sports more than that. Moving right along. Number six, X Park. X Park caught a lot of flack from fans by not letting DX die, doing the crotch chops and yelling "suck it" long after it had passed its expiration date. But you can't really blame him for clinging to a catchphrase that works, considering his other two attempts. The first was just going "whoa," like Bruce that's not Lee, a catchphrase. That. And the second was "your ass is grass, and I'm gonna smoke it." Whoa! It's not a catchphrase. It's just him making noise, and your ass is grass. I'm gonna smoke it. It would have worked, but this was Rob Van Dam was not in the WWE yet, so it would have fit well for Rob Van Dam. But you know, everyone likes to hate on X Pac and shit. Whatever. He's X Pac. 
please don't smoke my ass. Number five, Christian. As a team, Edge and Christian were the masters of the running gag. Kazoo's reeks of awesomeness for the benefit of those of flash photography, which made it all the sadder when Christian went to TNA for a run in the mid 2000s. That was actually really good, don't forget. His yeah, it was a great run. Were, That's how I roll. And if you don't know, now well, you, you know. know. Christian hey, exactly fuck you, I like those. IG, sounding more like a G.I. Joe special lesson for the kids than the tough guy. Number four, Michael Cole's extensive library of garbage. Everything. Oh my. Everything. Vintage. It's boss time. The big dog. This is the man who made me stop watching wrestling. This there was a to the Whenever he turned a heel is when I stopped world. watching wrestling because of this man. It, Michael. Stop it. Number three, Kerwin White. I mean, sure, this is more of an indictment. <laughs> if it's not white, it ain't right. Guerrero pretending he wasn't Latino and was actually a country club wasp, but just... If it's not white, it's not right. Like racism. No. Hey, no, I liked it. No, I'm Latino. No. Two, I enjoyed Jeff it. Jeff Jarrett, man, double J was a terrible catchphrase machine. Don't piss me off. Spelling out his own name and taking f***ing forever to do it. The thing is, ain't I great? Was a brilliant catchphrase. Bruh, those no gimmick, those catchphrases are great. Don't Jeff piss Jarrett me off. Phrase, slap nuts. Think of slap nuts. I like slap Based nuts. That, I shouldn't have said that. Nuts. I shouldn't have said that I looked slap nuts. Oh, 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 oh well. Sure why Jeff then turned that into slap nuts, and I wish he hadn't. And number one, Steve. What? That's what? That's the bottom line. 316. Give me a hell yeah. Some of the best wrestling catchphrases ever, and yet he's also created the worst. What? Is exactly. The single worst it doesn't want to fucking die. Not because it wasn't catchy, but because it was too catchy, and its misuse has ruined so many otherwise good promos and made it so much harder for people to improve on the mic and exactly. the style crowd. It's not Austin's fault, I guess, but how could something that you desperately wish could be erased from history be considered anything other than the worst catchphrase of all time? And that's our list. What do you think is the worst wrestling catchphrase ever? Did we miss it off the list? Let us uh, you kind of forgot the catchphrase of yes and boots to asses. But yeah, how's your lips is way worse than that. So I'll, I'll give it a pass. But hey, what was that one with um, Pat McAfee during his NXT day? Where he says it must suck to suck, but it must great to win or some shit like that. Yeah, oh my god, it it must suck to lose, but great to win. They were not even trying. <laughs> or how about D'Lo Brown's down with the brown? Are you down with the brown? <sighs> Anyways, that's it for me, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave, suavecito.